வணக்கம் நமஸ்தே நமஸ்கார் வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஜல் பிரயாக் அகேன் லெட் மீ ஜஸ்ட் கண்டினியூ ஆன் த சேம் டாபிக் விச் ஐ டிட் ஆன் த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ கப்புள் ஆஃப் டேஸ் பேக் வி ஆர் ஸ்டில் டிஸ்கஸிங் வேரியஸ் கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் டேஸ் ஒர்க் அண்ட் ஐ ஃபாட் தட் ஐ கேன் ஃபினிஷ் ஆஃப் பை திஸ் எபிசோட் பட் ஆக்சுவலி i might need one more episode uh, for me to complete the conditions uh, because the one which i am going to do right now is the slightly trickiest one and uh, there are two ways of doing it so that is why i could not uh, finish off in uh, one uh, session of uh, this video so i have to extend by one more so let us look at what is this particular condition we have already done from uh, 1 to 8 that is what we have done and uh, i am going to do 9 which is your indirect position indirect position means uh, i am not going to give you directly my vessel position at the moment okay the last one which is uh, 10 i am going to do in the next session and that will complete the whole set of your base work uh, condition so let us go on this uh, indirect position given as i said all it means is uh, initial noon position of the vessel is not given they still are expecting me to do the problem but the position of the vessel is not given so what do they do they instead give you a range and bearing of a lighthouse from your vessel and they give you the lat long of that particular lighthouse so that means you know the position of the lighthouse but you know only the range and bearing of the lighthouse from me to him so that is what is given to me but still he expects me to do the full uh, days work problem that means i have to find my final noon position arrived and then uh, resultant cmg and resultant dmg also okay so what is the first method first method is the most easiest method uh, many of the people might find this method easier because uh, it's less confusion so it is a recommended method also i'll tell you what is the second one first method is with the given lighthouse lat long i'm going to use the range and bearing given uh, between me and uh, the lighthouse and i'm going to find my initial known position and then proceed as a normal question okay so only thing is i'll have to do extra is uh, i'll have to solve my initial known position first itself and then proceed with the problem the second one the alternate method is slightly longer one and the possibility of mistakes are there but even then i'm going to show you that that is a reason uh, for covering these two methods uh, that itself was a little bit long so that is the reason i didn't uh, attempt to do the 10th which is your doubling of angle at the bottom so let us look at the first method okay i'm going to look at the first method before that let me show you what is a question question gives you different legs let us say up to 16 20 23 03 next day and 12 o'clock noon okay so finally you arrive at this position this is your uh, different legs given in the question he gives you course and distance for all of them but he does not give you the initial lat long with this limited data i can still find something let us see what i can find why because i don't need the known position initial known position for few things in my days work let us see what it is i still can find resultant delat and resultant departure by making a table so once i find the table i'm going to show you in the next slide what is the table i can directly find the resultant delat resultant departure using this resultant delat and departure i got two sides of the right angle triangle i can find the third side which is hypotenuse using pythagoras or you can use uh, other things so right now i'll have to use pythagoras in case i want to directly find uh, this distance which is called dmg instead of that i can find the cmg also as a theta and i can solve this problem so basically in this problem without knowing my initial position i can still find my cmg and dmg okay i'm going to repeat this little bit later but let us see what i should do for the noon position because i need to calculate the next day noon position so let us look at that okay we cannot uh, proceed any further from here from here we cannot proceed why because for me to uh, find my uh, 
lat and long i need an initial position which is not there okay which is not there so i can't do it so what is the solution for that this is what is the first method as i told you he gives you a lighthouse he gives you the range and bearing of the lighthouse from me to him and he gives you the lat long of that lighthouse also this is what he gives you now what i am going to do in the first method which is the easiest method i am going to find the reverse bearing from the lighthouse to your vessel range is going to be the same and since i know the lat long of lighthouse i can form one small right angle triangle right now okay that is what i am going to do after doing that i can find my vessel's position at the noon and then i'll proceed as a normal question so how to go about this first a part before i start off you please see this i already have the reverse range and bearing all i am going to do is find out what is the dlat and what is the departure from my position using that range and bearing okay using the range and bearing i am going to find this once i find this i'm going to calculate i'm i'm going to from departure i'm going to take mean lat and i'm going to find the d long and then i'm going to apply this d lat and d long on the lat long of the lighthouse and i'm going to get my noon position so once i get the noon position the question is as simple as starting from alpha okay we didn't know the alpha position now we know the alpha position so i'm going to show you a small table so how we came up to this after finding the noon position all i did was i still did the same d lat from my noon position resultant same d long resultant d long from the noon position now since i know my initial position i can find my mean lat from mean lat i will find the d long i am going to apply that and at the same time anyway i may i will be able to find out my cmg and dmg so now the whole question is complete because indirectly what i did from the lighthouse lat long i found out my noon position and i proceed the same question this is exactly what i did and this is a simple table and please remember this table starts only from our position and ends up in tomorrow's noon position so i've just made a simple table just to show you please do not compare the timings and all those things with the diagram this is only for depiction purpose because you can see this the time, timing and all is different my idea was not to give you the exact value just to show you how i would have gone on this question i'll just go back if you see i would have started from my noon position because i have already calculated noon position and now i go the simple way and this is what it is i get my answers okay now let us look at the second method as i said this is slightly tricky so let me show you what i will do in the second method what i'm going to do is since i know the lighthouse lat long the position i'm going to take that as a start point for my whole question if i take that as a start point you know that i know the reverse bearing and uh, the range of uh, from my lighthouse to my initial position that is alpha so i will take that as one more leg i'm going to use this as one more leg i'm going to show you in the diagram what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert this leg in my previous table i just showed you a previous table there were four legs in that table just for depiction purpose i am going to insert this first as a leg that is the range and reverse range and bearing from the lighthouse to me as one more leg so i am going to show that let us see one by one i am going to show you how to do it also okay let us assume the range was 10 nautical miles and from me to the lighthouse it was bearing 260 okay it was bearing 260 so this is the same diagram i have now what i am going to do is i am going to use this bearing and range reverse bearing as one more leg and i am going to start my whole question from the lighthouse okay lat long is given to me i know the reverse range and bearing and i use that as one more leg but one thing very careful please be careful if i start from the lighthouse as one more leg i should use this table i'm going to make a table now this table where i have inserted one more leg should be used only for finding the final position why because i started from the lighthouse as one position i put all the legs i can find the last position 
this table should not be used to find the CMG, DMG of your real travel which you did. That should start only from alpha. So let us see what I will do when I use this inserted leg. Okay, You see, I have inserted a leg in the yellow color. He said 10 nautical miles and bearing was 260. Please take it reverse. Okay, Take it reverse. It is still 10 nautical miles. And the true course or whatever the bearing is, your 080 in the reverse. And I've calculated what is exactly DLAT North and Departure East. This is actual values for this particular uh, 080 and uh, 10 nautical. But this is correct value. Okay, This is what I have. So now what I do is when I do the resultant, it gives me a new values. In the first method, if you remember, I had only four uh, legs. Now I've inserted one more leg. And I've got a new DLAT and departure. Now, where should I apply this DLAT, new DLAT and departure? I should apply it from the lighthouse. Okay. From the lighthouse, this is the new resultant DLAT, new resultant departure. Okay. And I'm going to use these two to continue to finish the problem because from, from my uh, lighthouse position, I can still find my mean lag. And I can use the resultant departure to find the result D long. I can apply it on the lighthouse. I will find the final known position. So as I said, warning for you, a caution for you. If you start from the lighthouse and use this as resultant D light and departure with an extra leg, you can use this table only for finding the known position, not for your actual CMG and DMG. Is that okay? Then what do you do for actual CMG and DMG in the second method? No. I will have one more table and that table should not include this extra leg. I should discard the lighthouse leg actually. Can you see that the same table, I have discarded the lighthouse leg completely and I will start as one from the actual vessel. And this is exactly the same table what we did in the first method. So it's nothing new. We are back to the same old values. So what I'm going to do is with that resultant, I'm going to go like this, go like this, and then as usual, I can find everything. I can find everything. So the second method, please remember, you will have to make two tables. Basically, it's not two tables. It is just one additional leg what you're going to add, and that leg you should use only for finding the known position. Nothing else, not for your actual CMG and DMG. Okay, the CMG and DMG are calculated as normal. So uh, this is... Uh, the point number nine, which I wanted to show you, as I said, this is slightly uh, trickier one. Uh, hope you can just watch it a couple of times for you to understand how it is done. I'll come back with the next video, which is the last. I promise you that is the last. Okay, And that one, I'm going to talk about your uh, doubling of an angle at the bow. So with doubling of angle at the bow, we'll have completed uh, the full set of conditions. Uh, Hope it was easy. I tried to make it easy, but uh, it was a bit long. Uh, anyway, keep watching uh, Jal Prayag. Until then, uh, Monakam, Nose, Noshka.